why would you want a notch? Well, if you're like some people that I know and you really want it, you're in the right place. Now, Android is a beautiful OS. It's very open, gives you a ton of options to tinker around with. So we decided to see if we can push it to its limit and make it so that we recreate an iPhone-esque interface on an Android phone. And guess what? It is possible. And if for some reason you want to replicate that on your phone, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. And before we proceed, here's a card to our latest giveaway. There's also a link to it down in the description. Check it out if you haven't yet. And while you're down there, toss us a like, get subscribed and click on the bell icon to become part of our notification squad. Let's now get started. First up, head on over to the description. You'll find links to three different apps. Download and install them all. Now guys, the Play Store is flooded with these kind of apps, but not everything works the way we expect it to. Some gesture control apps and some notch apps are not compatible with some launchers. By trial and error, we managed to stumble upon these three apps that are compatible with each other. They don't really get in the way of one another. So first up, open eye launcher, set it as your default launcher. This is basically an alternative to an iOS icon pack. Next up, open eye notify X, enable all the permissions it asks for and voila, the infamous notch. Okay, it's not just a notch, you even get control center. It's not just the looks, it's quite functional as well. In fact, even more functional than the original version on the iPhone. Here you can long press on some toggles to explore them further in the settings menu. This is something I really missed while using the iPhone 10. The app also enables the notification center and the search function. You need to swipe down from the top left for that. Cool. So what's left for now? Oh yeah, the gestures. From the list of apps you downloaded, open gesture control, just like I notify X or I notify 10. Huh. This requires some permissions. Once you enable them, you're good to go. Once again, this is more functional than the gestures on the iPhone 10. Apart from the regular swipe up for homes, swipe up and hold for recent apps, we've got a few more here. Swipe left for back, swipe left and hold for split screen multitasking and so on. The best part is that these gestures are totally customizable. You can also change the position of the area that detects the gestures. All that's cool, but it still felt a bit off. Doesn't it feel a bit off to you? Doesn't really feel like iOS on the iPhone 10. Guess why? This is why. Honestly, didn't realize the wallpaper could make a huge difference, but it did. And now you're seeing a replica of the iPhone 10 at almost one third of the price of the original iPhone 10. But guys, an impor important note here, doing all this has its own share of bugs and niggles. I did face a few issues and the iNotify 10 app or iNotify X app, you know, especially that was a little buggy. There were black bars to the top, had to reinstall it a couple of times. So if it doesn't work perfectly for you, do try disabling and re-enabling it or even reinstall it altogether. So that's it, we've got the home screen, the lock screen, the wallpaper, the control center, the icons, the friggin' notch and hell, even the wobbling of the apps when you long press on one. If you try this out, let us know how your experience was. And if you hate cool stuff like this, well, you know what to do. But if you like what you saw, give this video a thumbs up, share it with people who you think would like to try this out and subscribe if you haven't yet. If you've subscribed already, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each and every single time a new video goes live here on the channel. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.